In today's video, I'll be comparing two very popular New Zealand brokers, Sharesies and Hatch. I'll give you a complete breakdown of both platforms, their pros and cons, and my personal recommendation on which one I think is best for you and your style of investing. Remember, if you find the content helpful, make sure to help me out by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. When it comes to picking the right broker, it can be a bit challenging, especially when you've got a lot of options to choose from. But by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which one is the best for you and will ultimately help you make the best investments. Firstly, we've got Sharesies. This broker allows you to invest in the American stock market, the New Zealand stock market, and the Australian stock market as well. It gives you access to a broad base of companies, for example, well-recognized American companies like Facebook and Tesla, and then smaller New Zealand companies like Fisher and & Paykel and Ryman Healthcare. If you're interested in putting your money into the New Zealand stock market, Sharesies is definitely the broker for you. The only other way that you can put your money into the New Zealand stock market is through a bank like ASB Securities. And with this, they charge you a flat brokerage fee of $15. And this is for anything up to $1,000. And once you break that $1,000 mark, you have to pay $30 just to invest your money. So if you're someone who just wants to maybe put in say 10, 20, maybe even $100, then it's quickly gonna add up that brokerage charge. But with sharesies it's a percentage if you're just getting into investing and just trying to find your feet and whether or not you're actually interested in it and you want to just put in say $30 you'd only get charged 15 cents for that because with sharesies you get charged 0.5 percent for the first three thousand dollars and then after that anything exceeding three thousand dollars you get charged 0.1 percent so you get an incentive to put more money in and they lower the fee that you have to pay for that so that's what makes sharesy so good for new investors you're not bound to put in large amounts of money and you can easily build up your tolerance or build up the amount of income that you want to put into the stock market but you don't have that option with a bank you just get stung quite heavily with the brokerage charge and with Sharesies, everything's done just on your phone or on a computer. It's far more convenient to get those investments. In terms of the layout and what the two brokers offer, both platforms are easy to follow, beginner friendly. Nothing is made to be difficult or hard to do with them. They're made to be very beginner friendly and you don't need to be an expert in the stock market or have any prior knowledge to actually use these apps. Navigation is very easy. You can order the companies in most traded, highest returns, biggest dividend yield. It's all very common stuff once you click on a business you can look at their performance over different time periods say one month three month three years get a good idea of how well that company has been doing and then look at more detailed financial info like the PE ratio the dividend yield the highest and lowest closing prices nothing really special or different between hatch or sharesies top ups for sharesies are done through a bank transfer or a credit card but bank transfer is definitely the way to go credit card fees can add up very quickly and that's money that you could have just invested into the stock market now jumping over to hatch this allows you to put your money only into the american stock market there's no other countries that hatch will allow you to put your money into but if you can put your money into the american stock market you can pretty much invest into any company that you want to the american stock market holds the majority of the biggest companies in the world so if there's anything that you're wanting to invest into you'll most likely find it in the american market there's not really any major Major differences between Hatch and Sharesies except the types of companies that they allow you to invest into but one of the major benefits for Hatch is the reduced brokerage fees for investing so with Hatch you just get charged a flat fee per investment so with Hatch when you invest your money you have to pay a foreign exchange fee no different to Sharesies if you're wanting to put your money into an American business but just as a comparison to how much you'd have to pay to invest $3,000 the foreign exchange fee for Hatch is 0.5 5%, so this means you would get charged $15 to invest a sum of $3,000 NZD into the American market and then on top of that you would pay a brokerage charge of 3 USD and that equates to about $4.20 NZD so you would get charged $19.20 to invest $3,000 in the stock market using Hatch. And then with Sharesies you will get charged 0.4% but 
for putting your New Zealand dollar into the US dollar. So then you get charged $12 for the foreign exchange fee and then you would get charged 0.5% to make the investment. So that would cut off another $15. So in total, you would lose $27 with Shazies to invest $3,000, whereas with Hatch, it would only be $19.20. So that's why I personally pick Hatch over Shazies because I'm not really interested in putting my money into smaller New Zealand companies. I'm more interested in the bigger branded American businesses that you can put your money into with Hatch and for a cheaper price. If you're someone who's just getting into investing and you're potentially thinking of putting your money into the New Zealand market then I'd say Shazies is definitely for you but if you're someone who's quite keen on putting a fair amount of money say a few thousand dollars plus into the stock market and are only looking into American businesses then I would say Hatch is definitely the broker for you regardless of which broker that you want to use I've got a referral link for both of them so with Hatch you'll get $10 when you first sign up using the link down below in the description and then with Sharesies you'll get a $5 bonus when you first sign up to it so check that link out down below in the description you could make an account for both of these platforms and then get a total of $15 for free which you could withdraw into your personal bank account if you wanted to so check those links out down below in the description if you want to get a bit of free money to get you started with your investing that'll do me for today remember if you find the content helpful make sure to help me out by liking this video and subscribing to the channel now that you're familiar with Hatch and Sharesies, you might want to have a more in-depth look at these brokers and actually get a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use them and what the process would look like to make an investment with either one of them. Make sure to click these videos on screen so you can get a complete breakdown of each platform individually so you can make a more informed decision on which one is better for you.